What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Techware Phantom 87. I'm gonna show you the unboxing when I got it and then I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons and my own real life experience that I've had with this. And if at any point during the video you wanna check out the Techware Phantom 87, there'll be Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. But here's the unboxing, here's the timestamp if you wanna skip it. All right guys, unboxing the Techware Phantom 87. This has been a highly anticipated video for me to do. Really cool packaging. This one has the Outemu Browns on it. Let's get this thing unboxed. Comes with some extra brown switches, and then the keyboard itself. Now that is a nice looking keyboard. They did such a good job on the overall build quality. This metal piece up here looks so nice. It's not just like a metal metal, it's like kind of has a texture to it, it's pretty nice. On the sign here, we got Phantom printed right there, which looks very, very high quality and very nice. Now, I noticed that they didn't have a, uh, or a, they had a switch puller, but they didn't have a keycap remover, but it's actually built in to the back there. How cool is that? That they literally give you a switch puller. If I can figure out how to take it out, is it? I push it down. Look at that, they literally give you a switch puller built into the keyboard. That I have not seen before and it's very cool. We do have flip up risers. It's not a detachable cable, but you do have three different outlets that it can go out of, which is pretty nice. This is pretty interesting. The actual cover for this um, gold plated USB is actually on there. It's like, that's, that's kind of cool. It's interesting, I like it. Now it does come with a switch puller and some extra brown switches, which is pretty nice. But overall, the keycaps, they feel pretty good. They are not 100% smooth. They do have a little bit of a texture to them. I don't really like that white printing, but not a big deal. Overall, a really nice looking keyboard with this fantastic metal deck. Let's get a sound test. First impressions, if you guys don't know keyboards, it's really, really important for the build of a keyboard, not just the switches, but the actual build of the keyboard to dictate how the keyboard is going to feel and how solid it's gonna feel. And this one, very, very solid. Now I've used a few other keyboards with these exact same switches, the Otemu Browns, and typically in the past I haven't liked them as much, but with this keyboard, this keyboard is so solid, more solid than some other ones. They feel really good on this keyboard, but that's not all that Techware sent us. They actually sent us an entire box of stuff, but we are going to unbox a shroud or two shrouds from them and some other keycaps that they sent out. And again, if you don't wanna see this, here's the timestamp to just get to the review. So it looks like this is a white shroud. All right, now I'm pretty sure this is just magnetic, so let's see if that just, and it does just snaps right on there. That is pretty cool. It can pretty much pretty easily just come right off of there and then snap right back on there. Let's open the other one, which is a black shroud. Okay, this black one looks really nice. Let's put this one on there as well. Yeah, that looks very, very cool. I love how you can just add these shrouds. Now, I'm not a big shroud guy, however, they do actually have other keycaps. These are PBT pudding keycaps. So these are actually pudding keycaps, comes with a switch puller, and these are in the white. So let's put the white shroud on there. Oh, and I actually didn't see this. There is a Phantom logo printed right there. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. It's very faint. It's a little bit more noticeable on the black one, um, but it's very faint and I really like it. It looks premium as heck. Now, what I really like about this is you could get the black keyboard, right, like this, um, but what if you wanted white switches, maybe you wanted to switch over to white. Well, you get the white shroud, you put that baby on there, and then you get some white keycaps and you're pretty much good to go. I mean, you can see a black keyboard, a typical black keyboard, it looks very nice, but it's just a typical black keyboard. Now let's put this white one on there just so you can see, these actually feel quite nice. Now we put the white one on there completely, you can see that completely changes everything. I think that's really epic. But guys, that is my unboxing of the Techware Phantom 87. Take it away, future consumer tech review, do the full review. And we are back. Let's get right into the very first pro and that is the build quality. The build quality on this thing is so, so good. By far the best build quality at this price point, period. It is a very rigid top metal deck. Everything fits together nicely. It's well built, it is rigid, it's so nice. As well as that, it's a very pretty keyboard. It has these like etched edges and a nice design, a nice logo on the left side of it that says Phantom in a very, very good looking, high quality, 
um, not a budget looking keyboard at all, which is something that is really cool. Now the next pro is this is using Altemu switches and you can pick from the link below from either red switches, blue switches, or brown switches. Those are all Altemus, which is really nice because obviously at this price point, some companies are going to use their own switches, um, but using Altemu is pretty proven and they're nice. Then the next pro is the RGB. I was not expecting it to be this good, but it's quite bright uh, and it's very, very nice and consistent. That is something that usually in a budget keyboard is something that first gets knocked first. The RGB usually is typically not that bright, typically not that nice, but on this, it's quite nice. It's very comparable to keyboards that cost 80 to 100, $120. Really that good, it's on the same level. All of the static light modes, different modes, reactive modes, waves, whatever you want, that can all be customized without having to get the software, although you can get the software if you do want that, but I prefer it that way, so quite nice. Then the next pro is this actually has three different cable channels. They're all coming out of the back of it, but you either get the left, middle, or the right side. Um, however, this is not a detachable cable, but we did not expect it at this price point. I don't think we've seen a single keyboard at this price point that does have a detachable cable. Um, however, the cable is nice and thick and it's a nice braided cable. It is fairly stiff, um, but sometimes you actually want that more because they're more bendable to go straight back um, and look a little bit nicer on your desk. Now the next really awesome pro is this is fully hot swappable with three pin switches. Now they say it's only hot swappable without Tamus, but I know for a fact that that's not true because I've used Gaterons and TTC KS4 switches in here and they both worked and they fit perfectly without having to bend uh, any of the pins. So obviously Altemus and Gaterons, they have the same, um, pretty almost exactly the same structure. So you can actually hot swap some Gaterons in here, which would be absolutely epic. So that's kind of a big pro with this is because you could get this mechanical keyboard as a starter keyboard um, or as you know a nice keyboard. It doesn't really matter if you're a beginner or if you're into mechanical keyboards, you can upgrade this keyboard enough. It has enough uh, future proofing if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards that you could have this thing for quite a long time. And there might be some people that say you can't use Gaterons, you can't use all those other switches, only out Temus. Well, I actually did hot swap it with some Gaterons and works flawlessly, very easy to put them in. It's very nice. And the next pro is it does have flip up risers on the back if you do want that um, little angle adjustability. Now, this also has this really cool thing which you probably saw in the unboxing. It has a switch puller built into the back of the, not a switch puller, a keycap puller built into the back of the keyboard, which is just crazy. It's like, I don't, I think that's the first time I've ever seen that and it's in like a budget keyboard, but they did it and it's very cool. Now the next pro is you can actually record macros through the software, which is really, really epic, especially if you guys are really into macros. Uh, I'm not really big in that on my keyboards. I am more on my mice, but um, if you do want to do macros, you would have to download the software, but not a big deal. It's very cool that it still has, it, especially at this price point. But the last pro is Techware actually makes little covers for these, um, little skirts for them, uh, which is really cool because they make a black and a white one, which they actually sent to me as well. And if you do want to switch your keyboard just to a white theme, you put the white one on there, you put the white little skirt, and then you change the keycaps to white, and you've completely transformed your whole entire setup into no longer a black keyboard, but a white one, and you want to take that off, you just pull it off there, and it's all magnetic, it's very high quality. That is so cool, because you have so much customizability with that, where a lot of keyboards don't have that. It's not like you can just get a case for them. So it's great that Techware makes that and it just adds to that longevity of if you get bored of being black, let's put a white one on there. Let's put some gray keycaps. Let's put some pudding keycaps, whatever you may like to do. Now moving into the cons, there was only one con and that is the keycaps for this. These are ABS. However, they don't feel terrible and you must remember this is a $46 keyboard as of filming. So check the link below if it is changed. These things go out of stock very quickly because they're in such high demand. I have to tell you, this is one of the best keyboards for the money, $46 by the Techware Phantom 87. I used to be pushing the K552, which is still a fantastic keyboard, but this one beats it in pretty much every regard, just a little bit above it. So if you guys are looking for a fantastic keyboard in a very low price range with a bunch of customizability and longevity, this is definitely the keyboard for you. Remember, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. If you do wanna go pick yourself up one of those, I will also have the skirts linked below and I will have some putting keycaps from Techware Phantom as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy gaming tech reviews or tech reviews in general, I do a ton of those, so please consider subscribing. And guys, we just hit 29,000 subs. I've had two videos. My last two videos are doing very, very well. Um, the algorithm has picked them up, so I'm super happy about that. I wanna thank you guys for supporting the channel. I read every single one of your guys' comments. You guys are on it. 
you're notification ganging me. I didn't even ask for you guys to do that, but you guys just, I guess, love the video so much. So thank you for all the support. It seriously helps me be motivated to keep banging out content. I'm trying to do one video a day, uh, which is a lot. I'm pretty much only making videos all day, but I'm loving doing it. Thank you guys for the amazing support. This was Consumer Check Review. I'll see you guys later. We're on the road to 100K by June, baby, 2021. Let's go. This is Consumer Tech Review. I said it twice, and I'll see you guys later.